In this video, we're going to edit the image of our spiny flower mantis. Hello, my name is Stuart Wood and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to edit the image from the previous video of our spiny flower mantis. Before we get started editing this image, I'd like to announce that I've opened up a Patreon account. If you support me on Patreon, you'll be able to get your hands on the raw images so they can follow along with these videos. Now, I'm not going to sell you too much on the Patreon account. It's just a little something to help me produce these videos. But that's it. That's the sales pitch out the way, okay? If you are interested in looking at my Patreon, link in the description below. Now, let's get on and edit this image of our spiny flower mantis. So again, as usual, as in any other video, I'm just going to select all of these, select them as a pick, and then we'll filter out the flag. And you can see here these ones, let me just turn off my second monitor because you can't see that. So these ones here are where the flash didn't go off or it was out of sync. Getting it quite often with my old um, triggers to be honest with you. But I haven't quite figured out if it's the triggers or the flash. So, you know. So we have our test images at the top here, which obviously we don't need. Get rid of all those. And there we have our spiny flower mantis. So we're looking for two things, sharpness and the composition. If the frame mantis is over this side, over to the right hand side and out of frame, it doesn't matter how sharp it is, it's not going to make a very good image. So we're going to look at composition first. You can see here that the head's not facing the camera and it's also out of focus, but we don't want that one. Okay, so he's doing something on these, look. Don't like the lighting. This is where we was playing with the lighting just to see what effect we could get. So always play with your lighting because you never know. At the end of the day, if it's no good, you can just delete the images. Okay, don't like that, don't like that. You can see there how the background changes a lot just by changing your lighting. Ain't doing much in them ones, is it? Oh, we chopped his head off. We don't want that. I like this one. I don't know why, I just do. I think the, the water drops are good, the exposure is good, the prime mantis is good. Okay, so you're going to be able to select any one of these because you'll get access to all four of these with your download on Patreon if you do support me on Patreon. For this video, I'm going to edit the very first one. Okay, so what I want to do, I'm going to put in some contrast. I usually go for 25 on here. Okay. And the very first thing, again, I'm coming down to camera calibration. And I want to come to, I think, portrait I like to use. And I want to lighten up the background a little bit. Bring, uh, bring them greens up a little bit. Reduce the red slightly. Okay, let's bring that blue down a little bit more. I want it right that blue. Okay, now let's play around with these. Just try the different presets, or profiles I should say. Okay, so we're gonna go for the portrait one. Close that off. All right, let's bump up the clarity a little bit. Okay, you know me, I like to play around with my colors on my images. Done. Let's, let's uh, bring the blacks up a little bit. That's a little bit of a uh, curve there, right down the bottom. And we'll introduce a little bit of blue, not too much, just a tiny little bit. Okay. Right, let's play with illuminance. The green, I want to lighten it up a little bit. The blue's up. Go, yeah, let's brighten that up just a tad. And then we're going to brighten up our frame mantis just a little bit. And then darken the background a little bit. Okay, let's play with the hue. I want to introduce a little bit more green into this leaf. So, play with these sliders, see which one's going to do it. There we go. That's on the yellow slider. 
Okay, the problem is it's introducing green into his legs. Can you see that? So, I don't know how to fix that in um, in Lightroom. There's probably people out there that can, but I don't know. Details, let's do the details. Let's put this up to 50. Skin to 50. That's just the general setting I use for my camera. Effects post crop vignetting. Let's bring that down. Midpoint, I want to. Now, all the way down. Yeah, all the way down. And now they go to all the way down, I can bring this back up till I like it. I want a tiny little bit. So what I like here, I like the, uh, the the leaf that it's on, or the stem. I like the background. I like the praying mantis. I don't like the green that's on the praying mantis, and that's a result of us editing the colour on this uh, this stem. So to fix this, I'm going to take it into Photoshop. I'm going to right click on it, come to Edit in Adobe Photoshop. I am then going to come over to our HSL tab. I'm going to bring these greens back. Like that. Right click again and edit in Adobe Photoshop. Okay, now before I switch to Photoshop, I'm going to put my yellows back to where they was. And I'm going to save it as a preset. Call it a spiny flare of mantis. Okay, make sure your exposure is not ticked because I don't want to affect any exposure. Create. Yes, replace. Right, so let's do power to Photoshop. Okay, I'm going to use the move tool and hold down the shift key. I'm going to just click and drag this over. Okay, I'm going to add a black layer mask by holding the alt key down and click on the add layer mask button. I'm then going to paint with white over the green areas of the mantis. Painting needs to be 100%. That will bring back the brown of our mantis. There we go. Right. Next, I'm going to open up a texture. This will be from my Creative Textures pack which will be soon available on the website, so keep an eye out for that. So we have uh, Creative Textures, black and white, and we will go with Autumn. And again, if you're getting this from the Patreon, you will get this texture with those four files. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the Healing Brush tool. And I love this texture, but I don't like the line across the top here, so I'm just going to brush that out. Not very carefully. <laughs> there you go. I'll get rid of this one as well here. Didn't do that very good, did I? There we go. Okay, I'm going to drag that over to our image. Yep. Let's just size this up. Okay. And now we will set it to soft light. So then we got that nice little texture in the background. Okay. You see there, we're losing a little bit of contrast on our praying mantis. There's a before, after. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a layer mask to our texture. Okay. Selecting a nice soft brush and we're painting around, let's say, 25% opacity. I'm going to select a black for our foreground layer and I'm just going to paint in where I want that contrast to come back. It's mostly on the dark areas of the mantis. If you have a tablet, you can uh, just use the flow, which is here. Set it to about 10% and just paint on. For this tutorial, that one's going to use my mouth. Okay. Let's have a look at that again. So there's the before and after that layer mask. You can apply as much as you like. 
So there you go. And again, if you want to get hold of these raw files and the texture, go to my Patreon account and take a look on there. You'll find them on there. Well, that's that image done. The spiny flower mantis, I think he's turned out well. And as of this recording, he's just molted again, so he's even bigger. So I might do another photo shoot with him in a different situation. That's it for this video. Smash like if you liked it. Smash that subscribe button. Click the bell icon to get notified of new videos. And as always, I'll see you on the next video. In this video, we're going to edit our, our, our In this video, we're going to edit the image. In this video, we're going to edit the. I oh, can't even. One line, just one line. Damn. Hey man, just to get one line out. One line, five minutes for one line. Now, for the first time ever, you're going to be able to get your hands on the raw file of this video. Not the video, it's the image.